On our first day in St. Thomas, we took a walk down to the dock, where we discovered an iguana. Soon we realized that he had many friends. We rode the ferry out to Charlotte Amelie, the capital of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Charlotte Amelie may be short on historic sites, but it's full of narrow winding roads and vendors who wish to sell you discounted jewelry and watches. I also pondered the question, why did the chicken cross the road? Taking a taxi to the north side of the island, we enjoyed the aqua green waters of Moggins Bay, a nice beach with calm water. On a second day in St. Thomas, we took a kayaking tour of the mangrove forest of Cascade. Here our guide explained how the mangroves help protect the marine life and wildlife, as well as offering protection to boats during hurricanes. We also hiked to a tidal pool where we saw iron-rich rocks and a blowhole where, if we stood too close, we could get soaked with water. On a third day, we took a taxi east to Red Hook, where we caught a ferry to Cruise Bay in St. John Island. Here we hiked along the Lynn Point Trail, where we got a nice view of Cruise Bay and the Caribbean Sea. We made our way to the white sands of Solomon Beach, Honeymoon Beach, and Keneal Bay. Near Keneal Bay, we saw the ruins of a plantation house that dated back to the 1733 Slave Rebellion. Continuing our hike upwards, we saw many forms of wildlife, including many hermit crabs, like these guys, many small lizards, not all as tame as this one, a giant millipede, I'd hate to have to buy him shoes, and a hawk in the trees. When we reached the summit, we were treated with a magnificent view of the island and the Caribbean Sea under the setting sun. Hiking back down, we followed the sound of a steel drum band, hoping it would lead us back to Cruise Bay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.